27 time. Hey! Foot right. right. club, meeting, the alchemist. Uh, LaCurcy is absent right now, obviously, because he's sick, so... So just me, Marcus Albert, Christian, Christian Bush, Kishon, Antonio. and Samuel Dabo. And we got treats. We're sharing them. But you'd want to know. Yeah. So, so where's so the so alchemist? Alchemist. So, what do you guys think so far? Alright, this is my favorite part. book of all time. You want to say what part we're at right now? Okay, yeah, well, current, well, we're supposed to read up to the end of part one. Well, I'll start with just what do you guys think about it. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, I pretty much, I really like, well, just to start off, I really like the setting of it. I find just, it takes place in the Middle yeah. East, it, which is different from a lot of stories that are being published today. It gives the story a bit of sense of mystery and culture and value. It's exotic. And, uh, yeah, it's exact, it's exotic and something uh, I really like, I'd say, about the setting. I really like it because it's unlike any book of, it's, it's different from most books I've read, as in, like, and the setting is completely different, like Christian said. I find it it's a different place that we've been to. Like most books are based in, you know, America and all about action and stuff. The ones I've read, anyways. And uh, it's just a really spiritual story. And it's it's really interesting. It's like it gave me a whole new philosophy to think about. Um, the philosophy behind it, I'd say, it's much different than uh, the current. I'd say the the norm mm -hmm. for a lot of books that are being published. Yeah, like you said, a lot of stuff is set in set in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, and it's and it's kind of it's kind of cliche. It's like di different the uh, different the uh, background. Um. So yeah. Oh, oh my God. So the no the, thus far I uh I like it. I mean, I uh, I'm I think I'm the only one who didn't read ahead. So I only read to the end of part one. But uh, I think it's a little slower moving. Uh, part one like it's he slowly kind of. I'm only at the part when he uh, when he decides to go into the head into the village. Because he hears of the old lady who tells, uh, who tells, um, tells of like future and yeah, fortunes. Yeah, the, the the gypsy there. Like, yeah, the gypsy. Well, I don't know if it's a gypsy. I think it's a gypsy. I haven't read that yet. That's why I, it's only where I am. Okay. So now he's left Spain. He's uh, in Egypt now, and then he's exploring. Yeah. The years pass. No, he's not. He's not in Egypt. Dad. Sorry, he's not. He's in Egypt. Sorry? He's in Egypt. Sorry? Right now, well, where we had to read to was um. Yeah. When he's just he's talking to the uh, crystal seller. The crystal, crystal merchant. merchant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he's okay. And he's he just told him that he needs the crystal merchant said that he he found like way more money than he could work. He need to work there for like three years to get to Egypt. Yeah, he said it would take him a lot of time. And for so he just said he said I need money for my sheep. Yeah. And well, what does this mean? Or, you know. Well, he decided he he described yeah, sheep. He, yeah, no, no. He decided that he well, because now first of all he decided he he sold out a sheep, right? But. And then he said I need money for a sheep, so he decided to give up on his personal legend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the beginning. But I thought what was really lucky about uh, the whole situation with the, mer the the crystal merchant was um that with the whole wave of like new business, like the whole wave of new oh, people. Yeah. Oh, we're not there yet. Sorry, sorry, Sam. We'll get there. I thought. Yeah. Uh, I think I think we should probably just say where we're at right now. So I just finished part did. one. Sorry. No, you didn't say yet. Mm. Um, I'm really far ahead of the book. Yeah, book. he's really... Okay. No, I'm almost done. Okay, yeah. So I'm pretty much at the part where, uh, well, he's... No, I won't say anything. Well, you're he's working, I'll say he's working, I'll say he's working with the merchant. You're 64? Yeah. You're like yeah. 111, you said? He's in the middle of the desert. Yeah. So... So, where, like, what, what's the last thing you read so far around? Last thing I read is he's going to the village because he hears of the, uh, the fortune teller. Okay, So okay. I, I haven't gotten that and much. And to meet the girl. It's yeah. on his way to meet the, um... The was it the merchant's daughter? Is that like another? No, what's his name? What, what's the merchant? Yeah, it's the merchant's daughter. What was the merchant doing? Um, or whatever. Merchant That's not important. Yeah, whatever. Um. Yeah. So he. I uh, also think that the characters are kind of. It's it's definitely interesting because they're they're pretty like well developed too. Like, uh, I mean, we we already talked about like cliches and stuff like uh, like Americans and stuff. But I mean, it's it's not just like like a hero or this or that a villain. It's it's very sorry. I just realized I need to speak slower. Yeah. No, it's very it's it's very it's very different. That's for sure. But it, it creates for like a uh, unique read. That's for sure because characters aren't really uh, the norm. Mm -hmm. Like I said when we were talking before, um, when you're learning about uh, all the different characters, there's something that the author does. I don't know if it's just purposely or just coincidentally, but there's something that he does that when he writes it. You don't. There's not much. There's not many informa like details or information given to each character, besides let's say the main, the main the Santiago, yeah. the main character. 
So there's always something you want to know about the character. character. Yeah, I feel like you, you want to know more about the about the characters too uh, as you go on. It's, it's, they're 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 very interesting. Like you yeah. know, people with small roles. You know. Yeah, at some points the story is really vague, but at other points it's really in detail. Okay. Can I take Can I take some crap? Have a hit. Hit. Take a hit. Um. Yeah, as I was saying before, there's the like it, it changes my philosophy, right? Yeah, your philosophy. And yeah. just because there's there's these one paragraph or one liners in the book, we have to read it three times in a row just they to really grasp really, what it's really saying, and they, they just yeah. they're, they're crazy, they're amazing. They really catch your eye, and you can Some just be reading quotes, along. The one was, yeah. Yeah, and it's just any sentence. It just, like like you said, you could read the book four times and learn exactly. something new every time. You could, yeah, you could read, no matter how many times you read it, there's always something new you'll learn about it, and that's what's really unique about the story, I find. And the quotes have some truth to them, too. It's actually, like, it's yeah, they it's apply. It's intricacies of life. They apply to us today. Like, yeah. uh, I think the wise old man was saying, he's saying we all have our personal legends, which is pretty much just uh, a goal that, that we set for ourselves when we're kids, and that as we grow up, we tell ourselves that it's starting to become unrealistic, and it's harder to achieve. It's not that really that's goal. partly because he's young. It yeah. might not be a goal that we set for ourselves. I mean, it's just like a it's fate. Something. Yeah. Well, as you get into the book, it's not really. But um, they start saying this word called. It's, they say maktub. Oh, uh, I guess I'll that. Which is about in. It's in Arabic and it means it is written. So it, the book has a lot to fate. Okay. Actually. Yeah. You'll fate, see that. Fate or fate. 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 Like Speaking of fate, he's um. Paulo uh, called it. He's a. Uh, he's Catholic. Catholic, right? Yeah. He knows a lot about the Arab uh, customs. I thought, yeah. I think he's Catholic. I'm not sure. I think he is. But he knows he, a lot about Arab if he, he talks is, a lot about God. if he is Catholic, I find he did a good job of capturing mm-hmm. sort of the, the Muslim lifestyle. The, the, they, bring, the they, they bring in a bit of Muslim. Where's Rio de Janeiro? Rio is Brazil. Rio de Janeiro. Okay, sorry. That was like that. Yeah. Um, I actually think... Um, uh, have you picked up on like any symbolism right now in the book? Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe with Narcissus in the beginning and he turns into a flower. I, I don't know. I'm no, that's that's the alchemist talking. Yeah, but do you think right. there could be any like metaphors or symbolism? Um, I have no, any- it's not a really straightforward book in that term. But it's more. I mean, it did. I mean, it's a really straightforward book in the terms that. Well, the plot. Of what it's trying right. to tell you. Yeah. The, the, it's not like anything is hidden in this book. I don't think so. I might read it over again. Find a lot of things are hidden, but. I Everything know. that the author is trying to say, and maybe like as I was saying, this new philosophy that I was thinking about, it's all out there. And yeah. He just puts it all out there. And I feel like if, if there were a bit of metaphors, it would kind of be the type of thing like to each his own. Like if it's subjective, yeah. like how you interpret it yourself. Yeah. Well, it's written in or the beginning, I wasn't sh- sorry to go shoot. Go on, go on, go on. I wasn't sure in the beginning. Like I saw he, a shepherd going through Egypt with the three gold coins, and I was, I was. <laughs> I wasn't sure if uh, I thought there might be some like Christian symbolism, like uh, like uh, magi or whatever. Three wise men. Nah, I don't think so. But I don't know. That could it could be. I don't uh, know. It's, it's a good suggestion. I don't know. I wasn't sure. I didn't think of that, but it's pretty. It's pretty good. What were you saying, Marcus? <laughs> <laughs> um. Something about metaphors we're talking about, and then you say you're gonna say something. Oh yeah. Um. I w- I was talking to somebody who read this book, and apparently it just. It's all, there's so many points where you have to interpret mm-hmm. what they're saying, and apparently you interpret the ending and you interpret the the whole book, and it, it's all depending on you. Yeah, that's what I said. It's really you can interpret it a bunch of different too. ways. I find it's yeah, like it's up to you to you can find out for yourself what it means mean, to you personally. It can mean different things to different people too. Yeah, like, exactly. Like it has the same general message, but to you personally, like depending on your experiences, like yeah, I, it takes something that could like mean something more to you or less or that. Exactly, depending on your experiences, what it means to you personally. I, I completely agree with that, yeah. What about uh, the old man, of, the uh, King of Salem? I thought it was a really... Like, I, I, I'm not as far as... Him. Yeah, I'm not as far as you in the book, so there's not much information given on him. No, no, no just like, it's basically just... Uh, there's one part where they talk about him, when we see more about him, more about him. Oh. Um, when they 